Hey guys, it's your favorite auntie. Kimmy was looking for her invitation to Mel's name changing ceremony. She said she didn't get a text. Why? Why wasn't Kimmy invited? Well, Mel told her why she wasn't invited, but I got a whole list of reasons of why Kimmy was not invited to Mel's name changing ceremony. Let's get into this video. So I typically don't cover Love and Marriage Huntsville, but season seven, episode 12, <laughs> with Kimmy wanting to know why she wasn't invited to the name changing ceremony, it made me come out the bushes. And I was like, oh, no, 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 I, I have to cover this one. And I think I'm going to do another video uh, because I definitely want to get into uh, Tisha and Stormy's relationship. But for this video, I was really shocked that Kimmy had the audacity to ask Mel why she wasn't invited to the name changing ceremony. What was also peculiar to me is that when she asked her about not being invited to the name changing ceremony, she said that ordinarily she wouldn't have even thought about the name changing ceremony. Like it wouldn't have been a thing had she not seen it on social media. So that tells me I really don't care about you changing your name. But since you put it out there on social media and you made it an event, well, where was my invitation? Because obviously I'm supposed to come to your event, whether or not we get along, whether or not we have differences or not, we show up for each other. Well, there's a difference in showing up for each other, like how Mel showed up for Kimmy by throwing her a breast cancer um, survivor event um, and she showed support. Well, Kimmy, you haven't done that. You haven't supported Mel in that way. So let's get into these reasons as to why you were not invited. Everything in this video is my opinion. It is all alleged and the video is filled with dramatizations because I could be a little extra and I could be passionate about what I'm talking about. So let's take it back to uh, season number one, the patio scene. Everybody remembers the patio scene where Mel set up a spa on her patio at her home. She invited Kimmy. She invited Tisha and they had a scene outside where Kimmy was calling Mel bougie. She talked about Mel being the socialite and Mel cares about who's going to be an event. And when she's inviting Kimmy and Tisha to events, she's like, guess who's going to be there? Oh my God, you know, this person's going to be there. That person's going to be there. And Kimmy did not like that. You didn't like uh, that male likes to be out and socialize and you made her feel bad because that's the type of person that she is. You also made her feel bad about the fact that she likes to be on social media and that she's growing a following. You really uh, don't like, I feel it's my opinion, of course, that Kimmy really doesn't like the way male moves. And I think to me, it comes across as a little bit of jealousy and a little bit of, I don't like the fact that you're the rising star. You're the star of the show that, uh, the way, the following that you have and, and, and the light that you have that that's my opinion about it. So that's number one, you, you were not supportive of her and she stopped inviting you to events after that. Number two, um, oh, we talked about, you know, you're making fun of the fact that she had a uh, social media following and that she posts a lot. You guys made fun of her at the reunion. Number three, um, you kept trying to force reconciliation with her and Martell. That's a problem. How would I, how would a person invite you to their name changing ceremony when season after season after season, you keep trying to get her to reconcile with her, uh, verbally abusive, mentally abusive husband, ex-husband, when she's clearly said that she has no desire to be with this man, you know, all the things this man has done. You know, this man was cheating on her. You know, this man had a baby with someone else. And yet you're still telling her to reconcile with her husband. I can't believe you and Martel won't get back together. I'm so used to seeing you and Martel together. We never saw a scene where you sat down with Mel and you, you talked to her and you said, Hey, you know, Tell me what's going on. How are you feeling about the divorce? Um, you know, is there anything I can do to support you? But instead, you clearly chose a side. You even went so far as to call Martel a good man. You are not oblivious to what's going on. We all can see it and we're on the outside looking in, granted, but we see all the things this man has done to her. You're right there in the inner circle. So you should actually know more than what we know. So I find it hard to believe that you're just like, oh, I didn't know he was doing these things. Oh, I didn't know he was trying to do revenge pee on you. Oh, I didn't know that 
you know, he was uh, tapping your phone. Oh, I didn't know this. And I didn't know that about Martel. Of course, you know, because you and your husband pillow talk, you know, the things that Martel has done and why haven't we seen you show up and support Mel and support her moving forward uh, without him and support the fact that she no longer wants to be tied to this man. Another reason I feel that you were not invited to the ceremony was because when Ish hit the fan between Wanda, Mel, and Martel, where Wanda was uh, questioning Sugar Mama's uh, paternity, where were you? Where were you to support Mel to say, hey, you know what, Wanda, that's not cool. You've stood up to Wanda when it came to other issues. How come you weren't more vocal in um, those scenes? Even if we say, OK, it's edited that way. Where was your support on social media to say, I don't agree with what Wanda is doing. Um, I think that Wanda needs to stay in her place. I think that Wanda is wrong for bringing up someone else's child. Where was that commentary? Where was that from your husband? So why should Mel invite you to come to support her when time and time again, you're not showing up for her? You've also called Mel extra. You said that uh, events that she does is extra. Parties that she throws for her children are extra. So, of course, the ceremony would be extra. So if you feel that way, why should you come and celebrate her extraness? Now, we also know that you would have made fun of the ceremony. And how do we know you would have made fun of the ceremony? Because word on the street is that you did. You said her ceremony was corny. You don't, you don't think that Mel would have known that that's how you would have felt about her changing her name and doing a ceremony for it? You don't think she knows that, that you feel that way? Of course. Why should she invite you when you would have to bring your spouse who clearly is fond of Martel and you guys would have uh, been uh, criticizing Mel, making fun of her in scenes with Martel laughing about the ceremony? And I think that if you were to say, well, no, I, I would have respected that. Well, we know that's not true because look what you said when y'all just went and had the pedicures in that scene. Look what your response was after you found out, okay, here's the reasons why she's saying that she didn't invite you. And then next thing you want to do, do is you want to go in and start chastising her for not wanting to keep the same name um, as her children. So you don't think she would have known that that's how you felt prior to y'all having that conversation? Of course she knows that. So here's the thing that Kimmy really has not realized. She has not realized that Melody has become a master at discernment, aka she got your number. She recognizes who's on her team, what team you really play for, Kimmy. You're not a girl's girl. Everybody knows that. And I really, like I said, I really don't do Love and Marriage Huntsville reviews, but I felt very passionate about this because I feel like who are, who are we, who are you to criticize someone wanting to go back to their maiden name? And I just think it's appalling of all people, a woman who's in her inner circle to feel um, the need to criticize her for not uh, wanting to keep her ex-husband's name who has done nothing since their separation, but try to tear her down. And he really, 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 really wants to see nothing good comes towards her. And we all, those of us with some sense, recognize that Martel is against uh, Melody, and which is a shame because he was married to her for X amount of years. And really and truly, Melody wishes him well. She would love to see him prosperous and him do well for himself. But he doesn't wish that on her, on her. He wants to see the demise of her. And for you and your husband to continue to support Martel in the way that you guys support him, she's never going to trust you. She's never going to trust Tisha that you guys actually support her and um, would show up for her in a way that a real friend would show up for someone. That's why you were not invited to the ceremony. So if I miss any reasons why you guys believe that Kimmy was not invited to the ceremony, be sure to drop it down in the comments. If you think that Kimmy should have been invited to the ceremony, drop it down in the comments and tell me why do you think Kimmy should have received an invitation to the ceremony. Be sure to like, comment, comment, sorry, and subscribe to my channel.
When I got married, mm -hmm. I moved my last name to my middle name. Okay. A lot of it was just in my head for having children. I never really wanted to be that in that stereotype where your kids go to school and they're like, what's your last name? And they're like, Grant, and what's your, what's your mama last name? Scott. As African-Americans, I think a lot of times we're thrown into a stereotypical cycle of, I'm gonna assume that your kids don't have your mama's last name. Mm. And I think it's tragic. That just mattered, like, to me. You mean being baby mamas and not having the last name, having mm -hmm. not been married? Mm -hmm. You and Jalen technically don't have the same last name anymore. <laughs>